Bonjour, mesdames et messieurs. In this video, I want to show you five powerful tricks to get better panorama. This is the final photo we're going to get. One of my favorite panorama in years. So let's get started. All right, so here is some powerful tips for making panorama. So as a tip number one, I'm going to show you uh, an example on the panorama I just shot in Paris, which I really enjoyed. Now, it's a crazy panorama because I shot it with a 102 million pixel camera. So every roll file is 12 million, 12,000 pixels wide. And But here's the reason why I did a pano is because I was not very wide, which is actually a good thing. When you make a pano with a with a not too wide angle. This is equivalent about 24 millimeter. It's a 32 millimeter, but in the world of medium format, it's about 24, 25 millimeter. So it's not that wide. It is wide, it's not that wide. So I started here and then I went a little bit left and then I went even more left. And then I'm like, oh yeah, but I'm missing the top of the statue. So I went a little higher and then I went a little higher and then I went a little higher. And then I was like, oh, I want to get the obelix of the, of the photo. And I should have gone down, but I forgot, okay? So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to right-click, Photo Merge, Panorama. And now can you imagine, this is eight roll files of 102 million pixels. It's going to be a lot of power for Lightroom, but Lightroom is going to handle it like no problem. And boom, check out the results. So you have different um, projections you can use, spherical. Uh, just look at the uh, look at the size of the sky here. Cylindrical. Cylindrical is going to give me more sky, so I might use that. And then you have perspective. This perspective is not going to work uh, at 24 millimeter. You usually need to be like at 30 or above. But here's the big problem I'm missing. Remember, I forgot to shoot down. Now, there is a new option, and that brings me to my tip number two is make sure you at least overlap 30% of the photo. If you do that, you're going to get a great stitching. And tip number three, part tip number three is you can use this new feature. Check this out. It's incredible. The fill edge feature. The fill edge feature is going to use Photoshop content aware fill to create all the missing pixels everywhere. Okay. And it's not going to be exact, but like, for example, here, it's really saving me uh, the photo. So I'm going to click on canceled. And now, because uh, I've already done this, and here is the result. All right, guys, I just want to ask you something. If you can take a second to do me a huge favor, and that is to smash the like buttons. You see, when you like the like button, what happens is other photographers can discover this video. Also, if you can take just one little second and leave me a comment, tell me what you'd like to learn. I have to make a video per week. That's what I'm trying to do. I need ideas. I want to know what you want to learn. You know, Lightroom, Photoshop, you know, composition tricks, the art of photography, plugins, you know, anything you want to learn, tell me in the comments so I can, I read every comment. I answer almost every comment. I really like to get your feedback on this. Thank you very much. Okay, it's a crazy panel. Check this out. It's 22,000 pixels wide by 12,340. I mean, look the details. I can look at the details on the statue. It's unbelievable. It really is unbelievable. This will make a print. I actually sold this to a gallery. This will make a huge print. So tip number four is use one of my free preset. Below this video, you have a link to go to uh, this page here where you can download my free photography principle. What that is, is over 40 free presets. I'm giving you free skies, a whole training that goes with it. All you have to do is put in your name and your email and make sure you use a right email, an email that works or it's not going to work. Okay. When you get this, you're going to get this into your inbox. It's going to send you an email with a login and a password. And then you can go to photosearch.com and you can log into your library here and it's going to be in your library. Now, I am going to propose you to buy my full pack of preset, which you should because it's amazing, but you don't have to do this. All you have to do is give a good, valid email and you get this. Once you have that, you can install it. There is a video that shows you how to install it. And we're going to use a Surge Basic Golden Hour preset here. I'm going to click here one time. Just look at the difference. Already, it's amazing. A uh, couple of things when you use one of my preset is hold on the Option key and click on the black so it's the alt on windows make sure you got two three percent of black and then let's do the same thing on the white uh you don't want to go overboard so as i move to the right what you see here is completely blown out pixels i don't want that so maybe bring it down yeah 
maybe add a bit of contrast now this golden hour preset is good but i want to get some more blue back so i'm just going to go back on the blue here just a little bit and all my golden hour presets have a little circle so if you click here there is a circle that's supposed to go where the sunset is okay but the sunset was actually kind of in the middle of the photo but it's way too strong so you can either erase it or even better you can go here in range mask off luminance and you move this to the right and that's going to basically get that circle less powerful it's going to make it go behind things so now it's going to be uh, more cool and check this out before the circle after the circle just makes the sunset come out just a tad okay now tip number five that is make it you see how this is kind of straight but this is kind of crooked and you know i want to make this a little more uh everything more straight so what you can do is you can go to the transform panel and um i'm going to rotate until the fountain is pretty straight but now the obelix is like this and this is not good so what you can do is go to vertical and make it straight so just make sure that you rotate until whatever is in the center is very straight and then you use vertical to make the rest pretty straight okay and then let's go to the crop tool i still want this to be really a panel so i'm going to crop it here i'm going to crop it there i'm going to crop it here and crop it there and voila let me see uh backslash key to see the before and the after i think i'm going to add a bit of contrast and you could also the presets include here you can go in the gradients you can make this a little darker voila and then uh, i think on this one what i i went there before i gave it to the gallery i took a little brush and i made this a little more shiny just i love the how the water was going there and again look at the details look at the details i can see i can read the hieroglyphs here i can go here it's a huge photo this is going to be one of the best print i've ever done Twenty-one thousand pixel wide panorama it's a monster and i did this in what a few minutes lightroom is so powerful don't forget to get my free preset it's going to blow your mind please 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 watch the training that goes with it it's really cool and i'll see you in another video madame's miss you